What's up guys? In today's episode, I just changed my battery, okay? Then I have this little issue. I cannot get this key to turn. I can't get it to come out. Nothing. This lock cylinder thing, whatever you want to call it, inside here is uh, jammed, broke, a uh, wire broke, I don't know. So, I picked me up another one for uh, 34 bucks. And what I'm planning on doing is using these keys um, just so I don't have to get a key made. Um, I'm going to bypass the uh, the VAT system. And, uh, yeah, first off, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This is my first time ever doing this. And that's how I learn, you know. I just start tearing crap apart, and uh, hopefully it works. So, to get this airbag off, this airbag off here, you got two bolts in the back. Uh, it's T30, uh, T T30 um, torque screws. And right back here is one hole... And you have two holes on this. As soon as you do that, this comes right out. And uh, take this little blue thing, push it in, and you can remove the uh, the uh, airbag. Um, oh, I rented a uh, what do you call it? A steering wheel puller. And we're going to do that. And uh, I'll show you my progress, guys. All right, guys. The next step is you're going to remove this retaining nut. Just loosen it. Don't take it off all the way. Then you're going to take your your uh, steering wheel remover uh, kit here, and you're going to have a bolt there. You're going to have a bolt here. Here, I'll show you. Hold on. All right, guys, you have two bolt holes right here. Um, you're going to put this here, and you're going to tighten these down on both sides. Okay. Get those really tight, then tighten this like that, and the steering wheel will become loosened then you can take this retaining nut all the way off and unplug you know these wires from the harness here and uh, the whole thing will just pop right out so just like this if you guys hear any noise those are my kids just like that it'll just pop right out but I gotta take this harness off so so as you do that remove the steering wheel from the damn car. Alright guys, the next step here is I believe we take off this like seat clamp type of um, thing right here. Um, you remove that then this clock spring should just come right out. In theory, that's what I'm hoping that's gonna happen. So I don't know, maybe like some needle nose pliers or something can get this off or we'll try it. Alright guys, after removing this here you're just going to pull down a little bit. Um, it's just held on by these couple wires right here. But then, right back here is another one of these rings. You want to pull that out like so. Well, just pull it out there. And that, like I said, that sits behind this here. Okay, then there's another ring right, right, you guys can see it. It's right there. So we got to use our tool that'll push this back to get that little ring out of there. So we got the tool on and we pushed it. You can see that gap. Now I can get that little ring off. I don't know how much of a pain in the butt it's going to be, but oh boy. So let's go ahead and try to do that. We got the little ring off there. So all we got to do now is take this little bad boy off. Just unloosen it, blah, 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 and uh, get this thing off, and I will show you guys what we're going to do next. So, in deed. In deed. Okay, guys, we got that off. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to pull this right off here like so. All right. I'm going to take both of these off together if I can. All right, whatever. All right, that comes off. This will come off. So let's put these back together. Like so. All right, we'll set this up here for now. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is focus on our turn signals. Uh, we're going to take, let's see. We're going to take this, this one off. This one down here off. And this one here. And I think we're going to have to take this off too um, to get this out. So we removed the screw that went there, there, 
Oh, I can't do it now, but it was right there and one right there and we removed this one for the uh, turn signals. Now what we're gonna do is just slide this out if we can. I don't know how exactly, because this is in the way. Well, anyway, oh, there we go. It just set, it just set right on there. All right, now I'm gonna put this up here. Now this thing should slide right out. All right, so what we'll do, guys, since this isn't going out freely, um, we got to take this hazard thing off here. And he says it's a. My son over here said it's a screwdriver, which I think it is. All right, now we'll just go ahead and slide it on out. I have no idea what this piece is, but I'm sure. By grabbing it right down here, it should just pull right out. Then we need to take this little torque screw out right here. So let's go ahead and remove this little thing with some pliers and pull it out. And I'll take off this uh, screw right here. All right. Indeed. All right, guys. After removing that uh, screw there, this thing is free and can move. But you see this brown or this orange wire? There's an orange wire, right? You gotta go, okay, so we're right here, right? I took the panel off, and right underneath there, you gotta follow that orange wire. On this car, somebody already cut it, and what they did is bypass the VAT system, and they added um, resistors right here. So the key that came with the new um, ignition, that key should just turn over, I believe. This wire right here actually went to this plug right here at one time. But what somebody did, they cut it, they added resistors. These keys, they have a chip in them, right? And you can take a multimeter and find out how much resistance is in this key. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do, we're going to pull this out. And right here, this little orange dildo right here, it was actually stuck inside this little hole here this was stuck in there so you actually had to pull it pretty hard to get it out and uh, all I gotta do is pull it out yours guys will have a harn or a uh, wiring harness down here that you're gonna have to disconnect but since somebody cut mine well wherever it's at down there right here since somebody cut mine um, this thing was just pulled right out so look for that um, It'll be an orange wire going all the way down. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out. Okay, there it is, guys. Open sesame. So I'm gonna grab my other uh, uh, lock cylinder here and uh, throw it in here, and I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so we got the new one in, guys, and uh, it looks like it's. If you can see it back there, it looks like it's it's turning like it should be. Comes out like it should. I ran the, uh, the orange wire so guys what we're gonna do now is put everything back together um, I don't think I need to make a video of that guys um, just do everything uh, in reverse what you already did and the next thing I, I will do after I get all this uh, done is uh, get this orange wire um, set up so alright guys so here we are so far we got the steering wheel put on everything's connected right the new uh, ignitions in okay now there's this orange wire okay you're gonna follow this orange wire on your old one so you can unplug it from a plug that looks just like this okay it has a what is it it's like a purple and uh, yellow and black or white and black and that's where your new ignition wire is going to go into okay Mine has already, mine has resistors in it, okay? So these keys that came with the new lock cylinder, these keys should start the car. Because, because it has the resistance uh, with these uh, resistors. I'm trying to make sense, but I don't know if I am. But yours probably won't have this like mine does. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna plug this 
into here. And if you want to bypass the system, all you have to do, hold on, let me go get a key. If you want to use the keys that comes with the lock cylinder, um, you're going to have to find the value of the key to make resistors, okay? So, what we're going to do, you put one lead to one side, okay? This is going to be hard to do with one hand. Well, I got two hands, but it's kind of difficult. I don't know why I say that. I got one hand. Whatever. One side to one side, okay? Then you take the other one. I'm trying to do this here. Okay, see up there? It's reading 1.46 or whatever. I don't know if that's right, but you're going to take... All right, so then you take that number and you want to find enough resistors to equal that. You can be off a little bit and it'll still work, but you got to find enough resistors to equal that. Does that make any sense to anybody? <sighs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and try to start the car and see if these keys that came with the cylinder will turn the car over. Okay, and like I said, see this orange wire? This is what came with the new cylinder. That will just plug in to that plug right there. Okay, and if you're gonna bypass the VAT systems, just measure your key, see what the value is, and get enough resistors um, and plug it into there, like so. There's uh, quite a few videos on how to bypass VAT systems. So, all right, so let's go ahead and try to start it. This is a manual, but I got my clutch is like oh, so much crap. All right, so clutch. Security lights on. Okay, it went off. All right, here we go. Yeah! Isn't that sweet? So instead of spending 40 bucks to have a new key made, um, you can bypass the uh, the bath systems there. And uh, indeed. All right, guys, if this video was somewhat helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And guys, thanks.